Hello everybody, welcome to another vlog. You know I was just running and I realised five minutes in that I'm not even starting the vlog. So I've now got my vlog camera but I'll do this on my phone and then later on I'll pick you up on the other camera so the quality is a little bit shit, just excuse me. Um, but yeah, listen I just want to start off by saying that thank you so much for support my content. I appreciate everyone that tunes in every single week and watches it. Um, I'm just, I'm in shred season, so I'm losing weight, dropping a bit of body fat um, over the next six weeks. So um, I feel better. So I'm on that journey. So today, what's happening today? I've got a networking event today. I've also got, um, I'm hiring a personal assistant. So if anyone's watching, what a job, get in touch. I've got a few interviews lined up and then just regular stuff, work. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do 3K here. We should take me around. Well, I'll do it less than, in less than 20 minutes and then I'm going to go and do a workout. But you probably see me next on the new camera. I'm not on the new camera, on the better camera, I guess. Wow, that 3K was so tough. Now I'm going to do some weights. Check, look at the sweat. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah. Now I'm going to do some weights, I'm going to do some power cleaning presses. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know if it's just me or not, but I've noticed, let me show you, like, since after Covid, the gyms, this time I've just got busier and busier. Oh. It's like people got no work. You know why? Because everyone's after the internet money, the Wi-Fi money, making the money online. That's what everyone's on now. So, Shay, man, good to see you, bro. You too, man. You too. How you been keeping? I've been, I've been doing really, really well, man. I've been busy, been doing really well. No, I've been focused on the business. Um, yeah, um, got the clients coming in um, at an okay rate. Yeah. Um, I've got two new interns that have started with me now as well. Nice. Yeah. So you're yeah. growing, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So I've got a um, UX designer and I've got a social media intern. So the social media intern is going to help like creating the videos, going out talking to people, making content. Yep, yep, going yep. Out. Yeah, yeah. So it's all coming along slowly but steadily. Yeah, man. You know what? Business is a very, very... It's a slow process. People think it's just, an, you know, you can quickly... Bro, it's a real grind, man. It's a yeah, real grind. Yeah. Um, but if you can get around the right people and get in the right communities and right places, then you're going to fast track, can it? Yeah, yeah, exactly that. It's just, it's, no, it's just being consistent with it. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get that aspect sorted over the social media. Uh, we're going to start filming next Friday. We've got a bit of a plan in place. Yeah. Uh, the UX designers learning like how to use software that we use. Yeah. So then they can start building like, because you know, you know, when we were on the mastermind before, yeah, and we were speaking about, because so I've got my high ticket here, yeah, right, but I haven't really got a low ticket. So where I'm losing clients and customers is, uh, people are coming to me who've got a small budget for a website, yeah, and there's people out there who will build your website for like 300, 400 quid, yeah. But obviously, the amount of time it takes me to make a website and like how how different mine are, more dynamic, more. Yeah. Anything else I can help you with, my bro? Uh, nah, nah, honestly, every time I speak to you, I've always been a bit more inspired, so thank you. Can I just stop you there one second? So, um, so what, what experience do you have, um, so are you, are you, are you a fast learner? Yeah, I am. Okay, okay, cool. So, so are you looking for a full-time job or a part-time job? A full-time because I'm completely accelerating. Got it, okay. So, um, so when are you going to, when, when are you moving to Manchester? <laughs> you don't want to stay with family? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> is that a worldwide problem? I thought that was just a <laughs> a local problem. I didn't know it was a worldwide problem. I'm joking. I did. <laughs> I did. Trust me. Understandable. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so why don't you um, um, come? Why don't you come and see me in Manchester? Um, I don't know, like come and see me next week or something. Um, if you're if you're around or, or the week, or like whenever you can, because I think it'll be a good idea to meet each other and 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 I can see what you're about and. Um, show you a few things back end. Maybe come and spend a day with me. Come and spend like half a day. Just, just, just roll with me, just to see what I do. Because if the, if this is a role you want, really want, and you're serious about, like it's important for you to not even not just understand the role and what it takes to um, kind of carry the role, but also understand me as a as a person, right? Because if you're working closely with me as a personal assistant or an executive assistant, whatever you want to call it, same thing for, um, like, you need to really know what I'm like, right? As you can appreciate and understand, like, a personal assistant role or, or an executive assistant role, there's there's lots of people that apply for them sort of roles, right? So, for me, like, someone needs to stand out. So, if you're going to stand out, like, if you're going to come and you're going to do all that, for me, that's going to show effort, it's going to show commitment, it's going to show that, Basically, you want the job more than anyone else, and it's just gonna fast track you in my eyes. So I think that might be a good, um, something good to consider. All right. Um. Okay. No problem. I have some questions still. You can ask me whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I know I like I've I've been applying for several jobs, so like I can't like uh, I don't know the uh specific uh. Yeah. The company that I actually applied to, to be honest. So I don't know. If... With the role with myself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So so firstly, um, a personal assistant and executive assistant role is a very vague role, right? So you could be doing anything from organizing my meetings that day to um, booking meetings to sending emails to clients to sorting my diary out for the week to doing my personal, something to do with my personal stuff, if you need to book restaurants or um, book my flights if I want to go abroad somewhere, to uh, maybe handle my phone um, certain parts of the day. So depending on, you know, what trust level, how you we've built up a relationship, um, it could be sending payments to people, you know, it's a, it's a it's such a vague role, a personal assistant, executive assistant role. Um, you could be doing something with my social media. Like, I don't know, right? Um, so, but you get an idea of that's the sort of role it is, right? Now, ideally, I would want you to have more skills. I would want you to um, be a little bit more assertive when it comes to certain decision making. But that's going to come with time and understanding what the business is about and with experience, right? So, like, I, I'm not looking to bring somebody on board and, like, after six months, it's like, they're gone. No, I want somebody to come on board with a long-term vision and okay. and understand what the business is about um, and how you can be part of the team long-term. And, like, I, I'm very big and huge about you also doing what you want to do and you reaching your goals and you know um you kind of what do you want like i will ask you these questions but what's your goals what do you what do you dream of one day becoming right what's your ideal job like i will ask you these questions because i i not only want you to do best for me i also want you to do best for yourself so, you know, at the end of the day, what matters is you being happy, right? Yes, yes. Um, yeah, and, and you might be in a season in life where you might not be bothered with the what, what, what you want to do at this stage. You might just want a job. You might want to earn some money, but at least we're clear on what the what the task ahead is, right? Yes, yes. Um, 
Yeah, so, um, that's the sort of role it is in short. Um, but my, I, I'm an online. Hey. How are you, right? How you doing, bro? Bad. You good, yeah. You know where we're going, right? Yeah, yeah. We're going to still at the grill or the hotel? Um, hotel. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so and do this now for him. Someone's asked me for a testimonial, so I just think they're so important to give people testimonials, especially when they do something for you. I mean, think about it. How many people help you every single day, but you just don't give testimonials? And when someone's starting off, when someone's starting off, like at the start of their, whatever they're launching or whatever they're doing, they need testimonials for people to see how well they've done. I see so many people, like they're scared to ask for a testimonial. Like I'm, I, I'd be more than happy to give people testimonials. And, and testimonial doesn't have to be that it's gonna be something just good. It can be constructive. It can be like, this was good, but this, this, you know, this could have been better. Because that's feedback. It's a feedback, feedback loophole for them. Anyway, I need to, right, so let me, how can I give them a testimony? Right, okay, so what's his name? Marriage. Marriage. Can't get the name wrong. Um, okay, so start here. How can I give him this? What was the, what was the? Weather's getting warm, isn't it? Um, how can I give him a testimony here? One sec. Oh yeah, here, yeah, yeah. So develop a growth mindset in seven days. Free audio course. Okay, so let me get the loom up. Uh, do, 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 screen. Hey guys, it's Ibi Aslam here. So, I just wanted to give marriage a testimonial, and I don't usually do this, but I think it's so important to give people testimonial and give them credit when they totally deserve it. So, as you can see here, this page, marriage done for me. So, it was a couple of years ago when I wanted to do a lead magnet and he basically come up with the copy, also um, come up with the design and also installed the audio um, recordings for me um, inside this so as you can see you can put your first name there last name and email and look he done a great job and and to be honest with you the good thing about marriage is that he's also helped me in many other ways where he'll go out the way for you if you need any help with you know social media or if you want whatever it is he's always offering and every time I put something up on social media I'll be like Ibi can we find a better way to do this same with my video like YouTube um, Ibi, have you, have you, have you um, thought of doing it this way or that way? And sometimes you, you need people like that because it helps you elevate your game. So, look, firstly, if you are intending to work with him, I highly recommend you do so um, because he is a man of his word and he'll do a great job for you. So, yeah, that's just a testimonial from me. Um, 
Okay, now why is... I'm gonna have to do that one again. Because of the recordings. Hey bro, check this testimonial out if you're happy with it. Um, if you want me to redo it, I'll happily redo it again. But um, yeah, let me know. That's that testimonial done. Guys, if you've helped me out and you want a testimonial from me, more than happy to um, give you one genuinely um, and if I've helped you in any shape or form then you get in touch with me and I'll send you a link you can do me a testimonial also let's go ah. yeah check that and let me know if, if you're happy with that and I will um, also, um, do you another one if you need me to? But I'm 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 happy either way, bro. Okay. Yeah, let's get the stuff. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes. Sorry. Hold your hand now. Have sorry. a look at that, hold your hand now. Have a look at that card. Don't forget it. Okay. Can you take three out, three of the cards out? You don't have to look at them. So just take three cards. Out. Any three. Yeah. Any three. Yeah. And just mix your card amongst those three. We should record this, right? Yeah, it's recorded. Oh, is it going to record it? Is this in the way? Kind of. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Let's do this again. No, okay, you Are you sure? We haven't got to the trick yet. See what so. I've done there? See what I've done there? <laughs> so I've cast him off guard a little bit. And he's told me to keep the card, so I'm already suspicious. No, it's fine. <laughs> so, um, yeah, mix them up so I don't know which one's which. But obviously, you've got the card you remembered. The so I've got four cards here, yeah? Yeah, you got, only have to memorise the first one. You don't any, to, any, yeah? No, the first one you took. Right, okay. Uh, you, mix, you, don't, you don't have to look at them. Right, okay. Just mix them up. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So I don't know which one's which, basically. Yeah, yeah. So one of them is the card that you took first. Yeah? Sorry? One of them is the first card you yeah, took. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rest are just random cards. Yeah. It's my job to figure out which one's yours and which one's a random card. Okay. You get me? <laughs> Alright, I can have a look at them now. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. So, keep a straight face. He's, he's already got me now. I, I feel like he's got me already. <laughs> hold hold the, both your hands out for me. Put them together like a table. So I'm just going to show you a card. Just keep a straight face. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm looking for like a flare of the nostril, the eyebrows. No, no. <laughs> Eyeball twitch now. I don't. I think it will be the next one. I think. <laughs> I, I, might, I might be wrong. Okay. You see, you licked your lips there. Right. And to me, that that's a bit of a tell. I got a feeling about this one. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave that in your Okay. You can be completely honest with me now. Completely honest. Was I right, or was it one of these three? So you're saying is that card, yeah? Yeah, I think it was that one, yeah. Was I wrong? Uh, be honest with me, be honest with me. Yes, you are wrong. Okay, all right. So it was one of these? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So as a magician, I want to be a good magician. Yeah. I don't, sorry, I don't want to be just a good magician, I want to be a great magician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a good magician would get that right. Right. But a great magician can go back on time and fix every mistakes. Yeah. Say the name of your card. Say it. Yeah. Um, Ace of Spades. Spades, turn it over. Top one? Wait, whichever one it was, yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't one you were Guys, it was Ace of Spades. <laughs> so how was my poker face? It was good, it was good. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> A bit suspicious there. <laughs> I don't know what you done, but <laughs> that was good. That was good. Thank you. Mate. <laughs> give me some more. Yeah. Give me some, like something like. Just make sure it doesn't open up or anything like that. Yeah. 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 It doesn't open up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people think it's a dodgy ring. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Too. Yep. Brilliant. Okay. So what you can do, you take a ring off like this. And yeah. Kind of throw it back on. Yeah. <laughs> Or you can take it off like this, or if it gets stuck, you can put your hand on top and just go one, two, three, like the finger. 
good. That's good. See, so yeah, a, a lot of people think, it, think it's the ring, but it's actually the finger. Watch. Oh. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> this guy's playing with me here. <laughs> Have you seen the magic tricks that he does? <laughs> He's already got me like three, four times. <laughs> there you go, man. That was good. That was good. I appreciate it, mate. Appreciate it. Networking over. Um, guys, what's happening is um, I've got one day in person business mastermind coming up in June. I would love for you to be part of that. Um, the link at the moment is not going to be below, but I would register your interest by joining the WhatsApp community. And then once you join that, you press the groups, just add add yourself to the waiting list. That's what I would do. I've also got um, my next three day live business boot camp um, in June also. Now, wherever you're watching from around the world, you are able to attend that from the comfort of your home in your PJs. So why not come and learn some business? Um, and then I have a really exciting opportunity for you startups. So if you're making anywhere between, in your startup phase where you'd be one and six grand, I've got something really exciting coming for you. So keep an eye on my social media channels. Follow me on Instagram on Ibi Aslam Official, where I'm very active. And keep an eye on my posts, keep an eye on what I'm up to. But apart from that, I appreciate the support. Thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next vlog.